what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of tactical talks so in this video i wanted to talk about something i've talked about in the past but something that got brought up um from a fellow youtuber he posted a video i think it was like a week or so ago shout out to ant diesel posted a video asking is it necessary to have more than one gun and if you guys haven't seen that video or if you don't know who ant diesel is go and check him out um, but in that video, he talks about his son asked him, well, his, his son wants to buy a, a gun. And then his son asked him at some point, why do you have so many guns? And his response, I think was just what mine would have been. And he said, because I can, but he got a little bit more in depth with the thinking and more in depth with the conversation. And he gave a really good perspective of, you know, a civilian and, and just, you know, a man in general, you know, he put some thought into his answer and he gave a lot of really good points of, you know, why he felt it's necessary to have more than one gun. So with that being said, I wanted to kind of elaborate on my side of it and why I think it's necessary um, that I have more than one gun. So everything that Ant Diesel said in his video, I agree with. Um, he talks about if you have a gun and you use that gun and it is now um evidence in any kind of case that gun is going to get taken now i can tell you as being a law enforcement officer that is true that is going to be taken and tagged into evidence um another thing that he mentioned that is true that a lot of people don't ever really think about is he said when you get arrested if you shoot somebody even if it's in your house he said when you get arrested now there have been situations where people don't get arrested but majority of the time you're going to end up in handcuffs you're going to end up getting booked in and then it's a matter of going through the process and then the whole innocent until proven guilty comes into play. And once they look at all the facts, all the evidence and you're cleared, then it is what it is. You, you know, you aren't guilty of anything. You're not a criminal, but there are steps that have to be taken in order to go through that process. So go and check that out. Like I said, a lot of really cool things and a, a, a lot of facts is what, you know, what, what I felt like he spoke on that end. But for me, when I first started getting into buying guns, um, I went out and I bought a gun, you know, and that was, it, that was years ago. I went out and bought a gun because I was like, I want a gun. I want something to protect my home. I want something to protect my family. And, uh, I'm not going to get too much into like specifics or ballistics and all that kind of stuff. But when I bought my first gun, I bought a 40. Um, I felt like nine millimeter was cool. I just feel like it wasn't strong enough. And over the years, ballistics have changed. And then I felt 45 was cool, but maybe it was just a little bit too hard hitting for what I needed it for. And then on top of that, I couldn't carry as much with the 45 as I could with the 40. Now I could get more out of a nine, but again, I didn't feel like it was that powerful. So I kind of went back and forth. I, I stuck with the 40. I went with the 40 and I'm, I'm a huge 40 fan, but over the years, like I said, ballistics have changed, so I'm more leaning towards 9mm. I have more 9mm than I do anything else. But for me, the reason why I felt it was necessary to have different you know, firearms and stuff like that was um, mainly for the different things that I do. Um, like I said, I am a police officer, so I have a duty weapon that I carry on me. So I have one weapon that I carry on me all the time at work. Um, I'm a homeowner, so... I have other guns that I use and I feel that work better in a, you know, a home setting for self-defense or home defense. The other thing is, is I carry a gun everywhere I go. I also put out a video on why I feel it's necessary to carry two guns on you. So if I feel like it's necessary to carry two guns on me at all times, you better believe I'm going to have multiple guns in my house. Um, Again, just my opinion. If you guys haven't checked out that video, I'll try to remember to link that so you guys can check that out. But that's something that I talk about. I think it's necessary to have more than one gun. If one gun fails, I want to be able to go to another gun and know that I have that gun. You know, I have that kind of, that's my insurance policy on the first gun. You know, and a lot of people say, well, that's overkill and that's this and that's that. You're never going to use it. You're never going to need it. And I hope that's the case. I really hope that all these people are correct in saying you are never going to need that. But I have them just in case, you know, that's just my my personal opinion or my philosophy on the situation. The other thing is, is like when I talk about doing different things, um, I haven't gone hunting in a, in a number of years, but I used to like to go hunting when I was younger, you know. So 
I have hunting style rifles um, for different situations at work. You know, I carry multiple guns with me at work. I have my regular duty gun. I have a backup gun just in case the first one goes down. I have a, a AR-15 that I carry. So if I need to reach out and touch something, I can with that. I have a shotgun that I carry. You know, when we go into clear buildings, a little bit more close quarters, something that, you know, maybe I need a scatter gun for or I need a big slug for. Um, so those are, are my reasons for why I feel it's necessary to have multiple guns. For your everyday person who just wants a gun to protect their house, I mean, is it wrong to have one gun? No. At least you have that one gun. But again, I would look into, you know, at least two. You know, maybe one on this side of the house, one on that side of the house. For wherever you are in the house, you can get to it. Um, like I said, if something happens to the first one, you can go to the second one. If the first one gets taken for evidence purposes, you still have the second one, you know, to kind of fall back on. I mean, there's just so many reasons, um, in my opinion, why I feel it's necessary to have multiple guns. So another thing that I like to do is I have guns built specifically for going to the gun range. I don't carry these guns on me. Um... I, I'm not one to say that guns are a toy, but they're something that I go out and I just have fun with. I go out, we shoot them, we have a good time with them, and they go right back in the gun safe. I mean, they're just kind of a time killer, something to have fun with, something to, to get out of the house and do something productive with. But I've, I've kind of strayed away from carrying 40 as often. Now, I still love the round. I've never had anything bad to say about the round. It's always done when I needed it to do. I mean, I, I've had everything's from... Uh, Ruger's, SIGs, Glocks, I'm trying to think what else. I have my kel -Tec. You know, I have a bunch of different things chambered in 40, so I don't have anything against it. I'm not going to get into a whole ballistics debate or what I think is better and this and that, but I'm leaning towards, you know, 9mm more, so that's what I carry more. Um, it's just easier whenever I go out and buy ammo. I don't got to buy a bunch of this and a bunch of that. I buy 9mm because 9mm is what I'm going to start carrying at work. 9mm is what I carry with me all the time. And uh, my plan is to get a 9mm carbine so I can reach out and touch things a little bit further the way that I have with that 40. But yeah, that's just my perspective on the situation. Um, like I said, Ant Diesel made the video and he made a lot of really, really good points. But I just felt like on my side, I just want to explain to people, you know, people come to my house, my friends, family, and the, my gun friends we're on the same page, you know, there, I have this, I have that, I have this, I have friends that have multiple safes, you know, I'm trying to build up to that, but we have reasons, you know, some guns are just collector's items, you know, I have a buddy of mine who just likes old guns, he buys these old guns, and he will shoot them, but for him, it's just more of a novelty piece, I just, I just wanted this gun, and he has that gun put away, you know, um, that's how I am with some of my stuff, there's some guns in there that I just will never get rid of, there's some guns in there that some, sometimes you guys don't even get to see these guns because I don't keep them long enough. I'll find a really good deal. I'll buy a gun from somebody. I'll trade a gun, you know, with somebody. Um, and then we just kind of keep going from there. I have a, a buddy of mine who has a lot of my guns because usually when it's time for me to get rid of something, he's the first one I call. And I think maybe only twice he's ever only told me like, eh, maybe I don't want that one or, you know, I, I don't feel like spending the money on it right now. But every other time that I hit him up, he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll take it, you know, so... I do a lot of buying, trading, selling, all that kind of thing. It's just a really fun hobby for me. But for me, they're like tools. You have a toolbox. You can't just have one tool to do everything. I have multiple tools, multiple firearms to do different jobs. So hopefully that kind of answers uh, some of y'all's questions. I don't know how many of y'all feel the same way. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Am I on par with your thinking? Do you have multiple guns? And if you don't, why not? You know, maybe there's something that I'm missing. Other than the, the range factor, do you feel it's necessary to just have one gun? And do you think that that one gun can handle everything, you know, every situation that's going to be thrown at you? So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to have more stuff coming out soon. If you guys want a hoodie like this one, check out the link down below. Check out my merch store. And I will see you guys on the next one.